Hello, I'd like to show you some of the basic functions and setup of using the Mindray Z5. We're going to cover entering patients, selecting the right preset, and some basic image manipulation setup tools. First thing is to turn the machine on with the power button. And then once the machine's turned on, we're going to first enter patient details. This is important so that any patients that are saved can be easily found, so you can go back and find your, your images. Press the patient key, and then once you've pressed the patient key, select new animal, using the trackball and the set key. And select yes. The machine will automatically enter an ID number. You can use this or you can type in your own ID, for example, if you want to tie the image into your practice management system. Select the animal type, normally be dog or cat. And then for entering the details here, we would select, we would recommend the last name be the owner's surname. Just here, so we'll type owner. And the first name would usually be the animal's name. Once you've typed in the details here, we click OK, and just here to start the exam. The machine's now ready to scan, but it's important to select the right preset before we carry out an ultrasound exam. Different presets will apply to different sizes of animals, as well as different imaging modalities. So for example, a cardiac scan will be set up differently to an abdominal scan. To select the presets, press the probe button. As you can see here, we've got a range of presets, dog cardiac, cat cardiac, dog abdomen. This example will select large dog abdomen. The machine then loads up the correct depth and approximate frequency for dog abdomen scanning and it shows you up here which mode you're in. Scanning an animal is a bit like driving a car. You can't just turn the machine on and expect it to do all the work for you. There's some basic image settings that you need to change. The first one is probably the depth. The depth key just here adjusts the total amount of penetration within the animal and it's shown on this scale here in centimetres. Simply rotate the depth key to bring the object of interest into the screen. Also on the depth scale you see this little triangle, this is the focus point. This is where the optimum image quality is maintained and can be adjusted using the focus button. Adjust the focus position up and down on the depth scale so it's pointing at the object of anatomical interest. If the image is too dark it may well be a contact problem, you might not have enough gel on the animal or be clipped. Um, if your animal is prepared well and you're still not getting a very bright image, it may be that you need to change the frequency, which is located here on the focus button. Simply press the focus button and the frequency button then lights up. We can then adjust the frequency, shown just here at the top of the screen. The machine runs from 5 to 8.5 MHz, enabling you to scan a larger range of dogs and cats with one probe. Lowering the frequency will give you a brighter image but less resolution. Increasing the frequency will give you greater resolution but less penetration. Finally, if you've adjusted the frequency and you checked your contact with the animal is good and the image is still dark, you may need to adjust the gain control. The gain control is a bit like volume control on your television and will increase or decrease the brightness. Rotate the knob here, mark gain, to increase the brightness. The gain can also be adjusted at different depths on the depth scale using the TGC sliders. These are also the brightness at different depths on the depth scale. You're trying to achieve an overall brightness across the screen at a uniform level. 
brightness. So sometimes you may need to put a little bit of a slope on here so that we amplify the far signals more than the near signals. Once you find an image, simply press the freeze key and then you're ready to save an image. Rewind back with the trackball to scroll back through the last few seconds. And to save a still image, press save one. And the still image is located down here, the little thumbnails. To save a movie, press save two. And this will store the last three seconds of your footage as a movie. If you note here, I have a little film strip on the thumbnail, and that indicates it's a movie. To recall your images, press the cursor button to bring a cursor, highlight the thumbnail, double click with the set key. If you want to look at an old image, these are stored in iStation on the top here. This lists all your previous exams by patient where you can select an exam and review image and then simply double click with the set key on one of the images. Further instructions are available on the BCF website and if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us directly, either by phone or email, 